Okay, guys, I want to show you what you should expect when you will try to replace the keyboard on Dell and Speron 11 3000 series. By mistake, I ordered it only the keyboard, but turned to be out what it's really hard to replace because once you remove everything, you will find this metal plate and how it holds in place is really bad because you you have these plastic points here all over the place so you what I did actually I used the iron soldering to <coughs> melt these plastic points all around to remove this metal plate but even worse after the whole keyboard holds in place and all these points you see here it's melted plastic what holds the keyboard in place so one more time I used iron soldering to melt these points here here all around the keyboard so I hope some plastic still left in its place so I can put the new keyboard and melt it over or I will use this uh, what do you call this heat uh, glue hot glue you know that right so I will try to add this as well to 45 so If you want to replace the Dell and Speron 11 3000 series, the proper way will be to order the entire piece with keys in place. Otherwise, you are risking to get in troubles trying to melt before this uh, melt the wrong keyboard and put in place the new keyboard. So. This is the right way how you should do and not follow my path. Thank you. Okay guys, so coming back to replacing keyboard on my Dell and Speron 11 3000 series. You can come across the problem of when you put the new keyboard or put back old keyboard Windows 10 will not recognize it so I spent around 2 or 3 hours about troubleshooting this issue hey guys before troubleshooting your keyboard what you're trying to replace I will suggest you to connect another one so you can go to BIOS and make sure this keyboard works so because this connector is kind of not that good so when you bend the keyboard it will get off the plug so here we have the keyboard here is the bias and you see I'm pressing buttons here and it's working right we cannot test a lot here but at least we see so loaded into windows we can see the this keyboard is not working but this one is working as we seen before in BIOS it was working fine so the issue is related to something what Windows 10 is doesn't want to 
recognize the keyboard. See, I'm trying to type and it's not doing anything. So, uh, how we can make it work? Okay, so trying to troubleshoot my new attached keyboard to the my Dell Unspiron 11. Some people said you can delete Synaptics driver. I will try to uninstall this device and uh, I will delete this driver as well. And uh, I will delete the keyboard driver as well. Not will restart, but still will look for something else. What we can do here, maybe I can see some synaptics as well here. The touchpad is working fine, I don't have any issues with that. I will delete this one as well. I don't know what's that, but I'm just deleting it because I'm tired of not fixing this crap. Okay, seems to be all dead now. It's not working. And we will restart the computer. Update and restart. Keyboard is still not working. Okay guys, so this is a new keyboard what I tried to fix. And uh, it didn't work on the Windows 10. It did work in uh, BIOS. I took a spare hard drive, installed a fresh Windows 10 and this new keyboard started to work. And it works perfectly so fine. I didn't want to install it until I will make sure everything is working fine. See? This is it. So, thank you for watching. Please press on like button if you like this video. I hope it will help you to troubleshoot issues with your keyboard. Enjoy!